think Apple TV is an absolutely fantastic bit of technology for the classroom. It gives the teacher the ability to share what's on their iPad with everybody in the class, or the school in the case of an Apple TV used with a projector and an assembly. It's a really good way of getting information out to a larger audience. Some apps will allow you to display different content than you see on your iPad with a TV or projector so that you can guide classes with information that's relevant to you on your iPad and information relevant to the class on the big screen. You can also give students access to the Apple TV so you can ask them to share what they've done on the big screen using the mirroring technology. Apple TV has been really popular within the home environment for quite a while now, but it's in education that we really see the benefits of AirPlay and mirroring and a few other great features. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes to show you how easy it is to set up the Apple TV with an iPad in your classroom. To get the Apple TV working in your classroom, we simply plug in the power supply and then we connect our HDMI cable up to the Apple TV in this area here. For classroom displays that don't have HDMI connectivity, we can get this adapter. This will go from the back of the Apple TV straight into your existing VGA equipment. Now that we've got the Apple TV connected up to your display, we have to get it connected up to your wireless network. To do this, we go across to the option for settings, select general, we scroll down to where it says network, select network, we then go into configure Wi-Fi and it will search for the name of your network. Now that the iPad is connected to your network, we need to turn AirPlay on on the iPad. To do this, we use four fingers and swipe up the screen. We then go across to this symbol here, which is your AirPlay symbol. We select that, select Apple TV, and make sure mirroring is turned on. As the teacher, everything that I can see on my iPad, I can see on the classroom display. This gives us so many different possibilities on how we can use the iPad in our classrooms. For example, I could open up iBooks. So if we were doing a class reading session, I could choose different areas of the book that I would want different students to read, simply by highlighting it. And by looking at the classroom display, my students would know exactly when I would like them to read, because I would assign them a colour at the beginning of the lesson. Another way AirPlay mirroring works really, really well in the classroom is if one of my students had done a great bit of work on an app, for example, like Keynote. I could ask them to send it instantly up to the classroom display, as long as AirPlay is turned on on their iPad, so they're able to share their work with their fellow students. So you've got a really interactive classroom experience. Unlike older classroom technologies, we're now able to draw on a huge amount of content quickly and easily using apps such as TED Talk or YouTube and we can instantly share it with all our students. Apple TV was originally designed with the consumer in mind. Its central focus is simplicity. This translates perfectly into the classroom. It's really transparent technology and it's there to be ignored. We're confident that even teachers not used to technology would find Apple TV a really easy system to use and an asset to their lesson plans. Students and teachers will find a greater level of pride in classwork and enhanced public speaking skills. Collaboration is another major benefit of Apple TV. When students stream classwork in front of the class, they're creating a natural platform for open discussion.